What's up, man? You seem to know quite a bit about the history of mini bikes, and maybe you can tell me a little bit about this right here. That right there is a Flea Trail Scout, is what they call them. They're one of my all-time favorite bikes, man. So Flea made a bunch of different bikes. They're made in Azusa, California. And it's the only one that I believe that Flea made that's a full suspension bike like that. So if you look at the forks, a lot of them have the forks uh, springs that are really low down like that. So that's just like a real California style for me too. The one thing that really intrigues me about this is the gas tank that they use on these. Cause they just found a lot of them with a round gas tank with a lot of square tubing like that is like sharp edges on it. Um, another big, big factor on those is the eight inch go power wheels i think that's the only bike that actually came with the eight inch go power wheels i noticed that pulling this down i was like why do these wheels look so familiar <laughs> are these two-piece wheels as well yep, exactly exactly like the ones that go power sports makes and what can you tell me about the engine that is on here so there's a lot of different variations of engines everything that i found out is that is actually a Coleman, a four horsepower motor. Some of them came with Odako uh, Ace 100 two-stroke motors. A lot of them came with Tecumseh's as well. Flea made a bunch of different variations. They got the Flea and then they got the Spanish Flea, which is basically the same frame without the swing arm for the most part. No gas tank on top. And wow. that way, if you look at it, there's actually a disc brake on the jack shaft setup too, which is a really cool piece. Oh, wow, this right here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just now learning about all the different like setups, the clutch brakes, and it's, it's always cool to see the, the different ways people find uh, a way to get to the same solution. Like I do a lot of customizing, you know, my page strictly custom mini bikes, but I have a big heart for these vintage bikes. And a lot of these like survivor bikes like this, I like to pass them on to somebody that'll either do something with them or stick them in their collection like Tim did, which is just an awesome piece every time I come down there. That's the first bike that I look for just because I got I got a big heart for that bike. I think it's got a really cool design on it. Thank you to Jeremy Kozad of Strictly Custom Mini Bikes. Where else can they get a hold of you? Facebook's my primary one. I'm getting everything set up for TikTok and all that stuff as well. So I'm doing a go-kart right now that uh, you guys are actually helping me out with. So sending me some parts to get that taken care of and done. So keep an eye out for that build. I got new hats coming in, new decals and stuff like that as well too. So anybody could hit me up on those if that's something they're interested in. Again, thank you. We'll see you around. Right on, man. I appreciate it.